Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Suleiman and today I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I made $1,600 and an 80% return off this one stock. I'm going to be giving out all the details like which company it is and then I'll give some information on that company and then I'll go into the numbers of the stock like how much I bought the stock for and then how much I sold it for. And then lastly, I'll be telling you where I got this stock recommendation from and how you can do the same thing. So before I get into the video, please like this video right now and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting three videos a week and make sure you have that notification bell on so you are notified immediately of when I post a video. Which stock was it? This stock I bought became one of the hottest stocks during this pandemic. Any guesses? Well, if you guys Zoom video communications, you guessed right. Zoom video communications was able to hugely benefit from the lockdowns because everyone had to stay home. They weren't able to go to work or school or anywhere else they wanted to go. Zoom video communications is a telecommunication service where people are able to perform video calls, audio calls, or just chatting with each other. That's why you can just imagine why Zoom became a huge hit during the lockdown. That's why at one point the daily users jumped from 10 million to 300 million users at one point. Zoom became so popular that they weren't even able to handle the security and privacy issues at one point. Hackers who have no life started performing what they called video bombs into some of these video calls. The reason Zoom wasn't able to handle this in the beginning was initially the company was actually created to target companies so their employees can perform telecommunication services with each other. Well, they also benefited because really everyone started using it. Now let's get into the details of the stock performance and the numbers of it. I'm going to move on to my computer so you can see. So as you can see here, this is my brokerage account with Vanguard. It's actually my Roth IRA account. And I bought Zoom on June 27, 2019. 22 shares at almost $92 a share for a total of $2,029. And I learned about Zoom actually, I think it was around late May or early June. And you can see here, the stock was going up. I was following it since that time. And I really thought I actually missed out on the stock because it went up at least 15 to 20%. From here, you can see 25% almost. And I had been following it for almost a month now. But then something really nice happened. There was a 10% dip and went back to $90. So I thought, hey, this is a great buying opportunity. So then this is where I bought the stock for $92 a share. So I held on to the stock. The game plan was actually to hold on to the stock for long term, at least two to three years, maybe even five years. Because as you can see, Zoom had its IPO in April at $62 a share. So I thought, you know, this, this is gonna be a long term hold. So I held on to the stock and it was doing pretty well at the first, you know. I bought it at $90 a share and it went up to $102 and I was like, hey, great. You know, I made at least 12% return in only one month's time. And after that, it was not good news. Every week, every month, the stock was just dropping, dropping, dropping more and more and more and more and just continued on dropping. And I had no intention of selling at that point because this is a retirement account. So I was holding on to the stock for a long term anyways. And for about, what is this, July to all the way up to December, so almost six months, the stock was just continuously dropping until it reached the bottom of $62 a share in December. So that was a 50% drop. And you can see just, I was just thinking like, what should I do at this point? Should I hold on to it? Should I sell it? And I came to the conclusion that, uh, yeah, I had already lost 50% of my shares there's two things that I was thinking. First was, you know, I already lost 50% share. What was the worst could I, I could happen? So I thought, you know, let's just hold on to the stock. It's, it's a good learning experience. You know, I just started out buying stocks. And the second thing is, you know, 
all the pro investors are always telling you if you hold on to any stock long enough you're gonna get great returns and you shouldn't be looking at the short-term market swings so long story long I held on to the stock I continued holding on to the stock even up until 2020 and as 2020 just kicked off great for this stock the coronavirus actually hadn't hit USA just yet quite yet at least as far as we know and it was in China and everything the news was going off but you can see here it started off the year around $67 and it just continued going up you know the exact opposite for zoom started happening you know one thing I real about realized about zoom stock is I feel like it has like a negative beta or something because every time the market would do bad this stock would do good and every time the market was doing good you can see in 2019 if you remember last year the market was having one of the best returns and zoom was actually having a bad end to its year so in 2020 you can see it just went up and up every month the, the price of the stock was doing great so you know I was really happy stock is continuing on doing great so might as well hold on to it and it hit a high of a 151 in late May what is this March then it went down it was actually really volatile during the, the coronavirus pandemic it would just go up and down up and down I wonder how much money day traders actually made off of that and it went back down to 124 as like I'm still holding on to it. That that point I just knew that it was gonna do great. Everyone was using it. So we went right back up, then back down, still volatile, and then I decided on selling it around this this point. That's because I was thinking, hey, I was actually scared that the market is going to crash soon and I didn't want to miss out, I didn't want to lose all my returns that I had made over the last year. So I thought you know what let me just sell I was actually looking for a point to sell because I knew that you know just you should be selling your stocks right now really so I tried to sell in the 170s but the market was closed so let's go back to my brokerage account and you can I'm gonna add all transaction types of zoom and I sold it what is this May late May May 28 I sold it 22 shares at $167 a share, not too happy about that. I was trying to sell it in the 170s. Should have had a limit stop or whatever on it for $3,600.72. So I made almost $1,700 actually on this stock within one, less than one year. So 11 months, I made over an 80% return at $1,600. And the other thing is, I don't know if you're probably following zoom stocks at least in the past few days I sold the stock and you can see here let me just go six months make it even shorter actually let's make it one month even better so you can see I sold the stock right here right around this time and you can see from the last week basically the stock went up another 37 percent and I was kind of disappointed honestly that I, I was missing out like the days after actually I sold it somewhere around here the days after the stock was just going off it went up 10% the next market day and then it went ten, up 10% again actually 15% more the day after that and another 10% it was just I was just really upset you know I was just I had missed out on so many so many good returns but the reason was it was my fault you know that was where the learning experience comes in because zoom was actually coming out with this earning re earnings report and June 2nd or June 3rd somewhere around there yeah I think it's June 3rd because after that the stock dropped and I actually didn't know about that I didn't think about that I was just I had that fear of losing out on all my money so I was like let me just sell it and instead I could have had a way better return you know so really I could have had a 120% return instead of the 80% return I got you know like I said, I was just scared of losing out on money, but after a few days, now that I think about it, you know, I'm still happy about the returns I made on my stock, you know. It was actually my largest holding of all time, like my biggest purchase that I've ever even made, and I practically almost like doubled my money in like one year's time, so I'm really happy about my money right now, and now I'm just looking for my next move with the money that I just made off the stock. All right, so now let's talk about 
where I got this stock recommendation from and why you should use this strategy as well so you can get some nice returns from your stock investments. So I actually didn't even know about Zoom before I bought it and I had no clue about the company at all. So I'm always doing research and reading on investing, stocks, and personal finance and whatever not. And I came across this website called thefool.com where they talk about the latest news on stocks and their companies and they give some advice on personal finance and investing. And I think you should consider checking their website out as well. So I ended up buying one of their subscriptions called the Stock Advisor, which was only $70 for one year. At the time, it was actually a lot of money for me, but I bought it because they provided really good information and I thought I could get some nice information out of this. So I ended up buying their Stock Advisor subscription for a year and they had a whole list of stocks since the beginning of their company, which was like 2002, and they would show date by date exactly which stock they recommended on this date and the returns that had happened since then compared to versus the S&P 500. And my s subscription actually expired last month, so I'm not able to show you exactly what the stock advisor itself looks like, but let me just go over to the website on my computer to show you. So as you can see here, the first thing that shows up is actually right on the right side, they show the monthly full returns for their stock advisor, which is their, one of their cheaper services. They have a lot of other subscriptions that you can sign up for, but those are kind of expensive. And this one is like 70 bucks for an entire year for your first year. And then after that it goes up, but you can see the comparison with the, the stocks that they advised you to buy, which is the return, to this is the total return since they tell you 417% versus the S&P 500 which gave a 93% return since 2002 and you can see all the latest news on companies that they have articles on them also they have investing basics up here why is my mouse not moving stock market information retirement personal finance and whatever not so the Motley Fool is actually always having these events like online events, webinars, what they call them, and where they bring in professionals in the industry who have like years of experience, like 10, 15, 20 years of experience, and they talk about stocks and different companies and where you can put your money in. And one of these events actually had the owner coming in, David Gardner, and this event was specifically tailored towards IPOs and they were talking about how they have this new service where they're going to be recommending IPOs so uh, and they said that at the end of that webinar they're gonna give one recommendation that's an IPO so this recommendation he said that would be a four or five bag or maybe even more which basically means that you're gonna get like a three four five hundred percent return on your investment so I waited one whole hour for the webinar and waited till the end to see what stock investment he would recommend. And he started talking about Zoom and what their company is all about and how they have a really nice owner, Eric Yuan. And they thought, they thought that it's a really good investment to make because it's a tech stock and it has the capabilities of growing substantially. So after that, I did my own research on the company. I looked at its financial statements. And at first, the first thing that I really liked about it was that it's a tech stock because I'm really interested in tech stocks as I think that they have the best value and best growth potential. So that was the first thing. And then when I looked at the financial statements, the first thing that I realized in the income statement is year over year, their revenue were doubling. Like the revenues were really doubling year over year and I saw that if that growth continued I can see that this company becoming really profitable after a few years it wasn't profitable at the time it was had a net negative had a net loss so I thought if they grow at this stage at this um, level for a few more years it could become profitable and I can get a really nice return 
So I just went in all in on it, really. I put all my money that I had at the time, a couple of thousand dollars, it was like $2,000, and I just bought all the shares that I could with that amount of money because I thought, hey, if I can grow my money three, four times, $2,000, that can be like $8,000, and that'll be in the best shape, financial shape of my life. And one last thing that I wanna say about the fool.com and its stock advisor was that they have a list of stocks where they recommend and they don't just recommend these stocks once. They could actually recommend these stocks more than once, multiple times on different dates. And that's one of the things that I realized was key, that whenever they recommended a stock more than once on different times, of course, these stocks would have the best rewards. Like one of the, some of the stocks that the fool.com recommended in this stock advisor was NVIDIA, which has some insane returns right now and over the past few years, as well as some other stocks like Netflix and Amazon. And what else was there? Oh, Shopify. So Shopify and NVIDIA, two of the stocks that they recommended multiple times. And I started realizing that, hey, these are the stocks that I should really start buying because they think that they have great value at different times. So another time this happened was Zoom. So I saw that Zoom was actually recommended twice. And I thought, okay, great. Now that Zoom is recommended twice, this has to be a great stock to buy. And that's exactly what I did. So I think you should consider buying the service. It's only $70. And if you only have a few hundred dollars to start investing, it's obviously don't buy it. But they recommend that you only buy a subscription like this. That's less than like one to two percent of your portfolio value. So if you have like a thousand dollars and you're gonna go and buy a seventy dollar subscription service, that's kind of expensive. So that is what I did. So I had two thousand dollars, maybe a little bit more, like twenty five hundred, and I paid seventy dollars for it. So that turns out to be like I don't even know the math right now, like three percent, maybe two to three percent. So I was like at that point where I was paying a little more than I should have. But I thought, you know, learning experience, buy it, let's see what I get. And now I know that I can get some really good value out of this. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you, especially if you're up to this part. Like this video right now and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting three videos a week. Make sure that notification bell is on as well. So as soon as I post a video, you'll be notified. You can also follow me on my Instagram at Suleiman A. Shah. Thanks.